Okay. So we are going to try something a bit new. I haven't actually tried using EPSXE during a stream, so bear with me while I get everything situated. If I don't like the audio, I'm probably just going to abort things and go with the PS4 game or something or another. Really, we're just waiting to see if uh, this little intro video will play, because I know that's got audio. That should let me know whether or not there are going to be any issues with it. Just bear with me. I'm really hoping this works as this was a very influential game for young Nick and quite a few of my cousins as well actually. A lot of us got hooked on this game. That sounds good to me. Okay, so tonight's game will be The Legend of Dragoon, which was marketed here in the US as the Final Fantasy Killer. This came out around 2000 or 2001 or something like that. I know it was on a few different demo discs. Because I had a couple of those growing up. But this game kicks ass. It's easily in my top 10 for JRPGs. Like, yeah, there are things that they could have done a lot better, but holy shit, just the lore that this game has. Like, if any game ever deserved a prequel or reimagining, this would be it. Like, there is so much they can do to expand on it and like I know to very specific people I have bitched about wanting a prequel for a very very long time and I don't think the game really did well so like the people I'm referring to are younger cousins and older cousins because I've got two younger cousins who like the game two older cousins who like the game and yes that's her like it, it could do so well with a remake So the audio sounds pretty good on my end anyway the voice acting in this game is fucking atrocious <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like Jesus Christ like right there it wasn't so bad I guess but like our, our protagonist Dart you don't get to hear, hear his voice a whole lot but when you do, oh my god, it's it's awful. So that was our intro cutscene. As you can see, a village got raided, evidently. I know the village name and everything, I just I don't wanna give away a whole hell of a lot if I can help it right now. Here we have, I, I can't say it's everyone's favorite character, but 
everyone that I knew who played this game growing up, she was definitely one of the favorites, if not the favorite. Um, another thing, this is a very text-heavy game. This is before voice acting was really a common thing, so... I might read some of this, like, for example, the Green Tusk Dragon Fear Brand, but I'm not going to read, like, literally everything that... that's too much. Ah, god damn it. Our first audio issue, whatever, fits to a story in those little disc title things. That won't be that bad. Ideally, I would be streaming this off my PS3, but I am lacking a certain component to do that at the moment. So I have got a tool on my computer that I am using and yeah I actually own the game like I've got the game in a disk drive reader thing right now so hmm, chance of war more likely I hope it's just a rumor I've actually got a shit ton of PS1 games I'd like to stream at some point or another shitty thing is a lot of those are only on the PS3 like, that's more of the rare games, like Tomba 1 and 2. I was not paying a hundred bucks for a loose disc. No way in hell. Who are you? And whenever I read that, like, mentally, I don't know if any of you have seen Hocus Pocus, but I think of those two bullies who stop the protagonist in that, in that graveyard, when they ask who they are. Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer. What are you doing? Are you trying a sword against us? They ask a lot of stupid questions. What? What is? What is? What the heck is this? Here I'm not actually controlling it. This is all automated. I had to do something or I'll be killed. So as a little kid, I was really pissed off that you don't actually get to control yourself during this part. But, like, it makes sense now. Like, if the game would have just thrown you into this, you'd have a lot of players dying pretty much instantly and getting pissed off and just swearing off the game for, it, at the very least, a little while. What a monster. It's coming. Huh. How odd. But yeah, this game was released back in the day when a lot of role-playing games had three or four discs. Who are you? Shh. Yeah, we're running into some audio issues. We're just going to deal with them for tonight, and I'll tamper with it off-stream or something. So I'm sure there's something I can do to get all that audio lag to knock it off for a bit. Thank you for saving me. But this is what I wanted to play tonight and stream, so I'm willing to risk any issues. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. So any word that appears in red, that's going to be an important term. Like, it's not like a Final Fantasy 2 type thing where you have to memorize words and go around to, like, every fucking character repeating them. Dragon? But, like, there are terms that you're going to want to remember for at least a little while. That village could have been easily destroyed without a dragon. The village... Are you talking about Sally's? I don't know if like that's the actual pronunciation, but that that's how I've always pronounced it. Then those soldiers were. There won't be anything left by now. Sally's is my village. 
So I'm not going to stream for a super long time tonight. I'm just going to probably get to the prison. That man must be... No. There is no way. That bit of dialogue will be important later on. Like... These fucking audio issues. Much later on. I've gotten ideas as to what could put an end to those, but I can't do anything about it at the moment. Oh no. My god. I really like the backgrounds in this game. Alright, there we go. So that blue arrow is a pretty good indicator that you're in control. Here we've got two soldiers tormenting an already dying person. I don't know if it's guy or girl, I guess. Oh, a mercenary. Isn't it a little late for you to show up? Shut up! What are you doing here? Okay, so long story short, these fools think they're occupying the town because there is that war going on that we will learn more about later on. Here they think they're gonna open a can of whoop ass on me, which is preposterous. There is no way in hell that is going to happen. If the battle screen loads in. There we go. I feel like maybe if I just uh, rip these games to my hard drive, that might make things run a bit more smoothly. So, I like the battle system in this game because it's got what... They, they don't call it combos or anything. They call them additions. And you unlock them by leveling up and, and uh, eventually if you master each edition, because each edition has like five different levels, each one either does more damage or gets you more SP, which we'll get into at some point. Um, but like pulling them off like that, if your character yells the edition name, you've pulled it off successfully and like if you see it pop up in the bottom. So, something I dislike about this game is the leveling system kind of sucks. Like, when you're on your own, it's fine. Like, not gonna lie, I level grind a lot in this game when I've just got dart. But once you get other players, like, it's split equally and it's a pain in the ass. Um... Like, it's kind of nice because everyone stays at a relatively consistent level, like... Your in-party people are going to get the most of the experience, but like even ones you aren't using actively, they'll get a fraction of the experience, which, yeah, that that's nice, but like if you don't use certain characters, like, granted this playthrough, I'm going to try to switch things up and use characters that I generally haven't really fucked around with, but... Oh, here's another important term. This time it's a name. So, this dying person is telling me that we have to rescue Shauna. Or Shana, but I prefer Shauna. And she was the girl that was taken away during that cutscene. And she will be a very important character throughout this entire story. Like, ridiculously important. He's gone. Okay, so here we've got a treasure chest. Burnout, that's an item we can use. These beams of light are our save points. Okay, so... Status, that should be pretty self-explanatory. We won't get any magic until later on in the game. So you can see the stats kind of suck right at the beginning, but you don't need them to be good right now, so... Item... Got some potions. 
goods, those are like key items pretty much. Armed, that's how you change your equipment. Addition is what we want to look at right now. So right now we've only got the first one available. Not everyone has seven additions either. But if you look where it says LV, that's obviously it's level ADD. That means how many button presses you'll get. SP, that'll be important later on. Like, I want to say maybe a third of the way through disc one, it'll become important. Damage shows uh, how much you'll, well, like, not total hit points, but your percentages if you land everything successfully. Next level shows how many successful additions you gotta perform to get to, like, level 2 and so on and so forth. Replace is useless at the moment because we are our only party member. I, I could explain a bit more, but I'm not going to right now. I'll explain as needed, I think. Like that Stardust, that's not really important, I guess, unless you want to do some optional shit, but I, it's a pain in the ass to gather everything, so I have never once gathered all of the Stardust in this game. Like, Unless you've played it a lot, you need a guide to know where to even look, and I'm not gonna lie, backtracking can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. Is that you, Dart? This way. So good guy Dart is helping out the wounded villagers right now, trying to get some answers as to what the hell went on. So this dying man is trying to lay a guilt trip on Dart, it seems. Because Dart was away for quite a while. There's that name again, Shauna. About to get some info. What's wrong with Shauna? She was taken away. It seems Shauna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I don't know. I bet these assholes know. I'm gonna make him talk. Don't worry about her. She must be receiving courtesies of Helena Prison. By now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shauna? Exactly. But don't worry, I will let you follow them, although not to hell enough, to hell. God, these audio issues are going to drive me fucking insane the rest of this stream. Ah, well. So here's our first quote-unquote boss fight of the game. Not much of a boss fight. Like... The two knights of Sandora are, I'm not going to lie, they're, we'll just say pushovers. Like, that one's probably going to bitch out and try to run away. Yep. Okay, so, explaining the different functions. You've seen attack. Guard is useful because you can get some hit points back. That's awfully cheeky of you. Well, he's on roids. And it will also reduce the damage that you take for the next hit. Items, we've got things like healing potions, burnout. That's a fire attack for a single opponent. So if you use one of them, you'll get this little meter. And if you keep tapping X, you can get your percentage to go up a bit. Higher it goes, more damage it does etc etc like even at 184 percent 11 damage big big deal i personally don't like using those a whole lot because 
it takes forever to grind through the additions, so... Um, a thing to note, like... I don't want to assume you're just going to go out and play this game, but... If you do, it's best to try to play it on, like, one of those old CRT TVs. Because that addition system is a pain in the ass to get right on a more modern TV. Like... It's like with a ry rhythm game, like... Parappa the Rapper, or Um Jam or Lammy, or anything like that, things don't line up exactly how they're, or how they were meant to, like back with the old TVs, they had that figured out. So, that was great. Okay, so we just got a new edition, Volcano. We are not going to use that yet, I insist on maxing out Burnout first, because I hate going back to old editions. But anyway... So, like, for example, when I was playing this on my PS3 on the TV that I'm currently playing on, I had to fuck around with a few settings to get the timing correct for additions. And it's a real pain in the ass later, because eventually they start throwing curveballs and you have to hit circle, and if you fuck that up, you're going to damage yourself. Okay, so... They just said something about Dart's journey not being over. That'll come back into play a bit later on. Cause he was away for quite a while, not gonna lie. Promising to come back pretty much with Shauna. Come on, get a move on. So it seems like during those transitionary scenes, that's where we're going to get the most audio leg. Alright, so we see two people in here. Two children. And you don't have to talk to them if you don't want to, really. I just want them to hurry up and help out versus fuck around in that burned down house. Everything is not okay. Like this guy is saying, everybody's dead pretty much. Dart's telling these kids to not be stupid. That's what I got from that. Ooh, yes, he's really not dead. She'll get the herb. Same with that other kid. Get the fuck out of the way. Don't think there's any stardust in there. No. Yeah, I doubt that. You're like seven. I don't think you can take care of much, okay? So, if you want to find stardust, literally run around all over clicking X. <clears throat> Here we've got some guy named Master Tasman. And, uh, like he's saying, he taught Dart how to fight, pretty much. Alright. We'll indulge him. I, I want to do an experiment. Usually I don't bother with this fuckhead, but I want to see if, uh... This counts for the whole addition count thing. Because if I can, I would like to get that n very first on Burnout nice and leveled up so I don't have to waste a whole lot of time. And not going to lie, I'm definitely planning on doing a lot of level grinding and whatnot. Like... Oh, motherfucker. He just explains things. God damn it. Okay. Anyhow, I'm planning on doing a lot of level grinding in between streams. That way, I don't have to waste a whole lot of time with that. Because... Like, that that's the boring part of the game, honestly. Here we've got another... I, I don't want to call it a cutscene because... Technically, I don't consider it like a true cutscene, but 
We'll just call it an interaction. We've got an interaction here at the Helena prison. So it looks pretty run down. Looks like shit, really, for being honest. There we've got Shauna and we've got a guard. So these guards are really condescending. They're really they'll they'll mock anyone and everyone essentially. These characters will wind up being important. Who the heck is this? Is the girl? You could tell me. The world's future rests on her. That's it? This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. I am not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. This is a message from Emperor Dole. So my very first experience with this game, I saw one of my older cousins was dating this girl and I think it was her younger brother. I saw her playing the game at one of our other cousins house and that's my first memory with it. And then I remember playing it on the demo disc. Here we have the world map. It'll tell you like which little area you're in. We're in South Absurdio right now. Forest. We will enter. So I remember playing it on a few different demo discs. And then I was at a Walmart. Or the Walmart in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Like shortly after it was built. Way back in the early 2000s. And... This game went on sale relatively quickly, so I got it for like 20 bucks or something. Here we have a merchant. I lost a squirrel. Oh well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? Want to buy something? He's a drug dealer. So I got my own copy of this game like when I was... Between four and five, I'd say. I, it was before I was in kindergarten. Like, I learned to read at a very young age. Granted, I couldn't understand all the words or pronounce all of them correctly, but like, I, I got the gist of what was going on. So body purifier, that's like an antidote, pretty much. Charm potions, that'll reduce, reduce the risk of encounter, which is an ass-backwards thing to do, if you ask me. You can see what you got on you, and you can only carry a select amount of items and that sucks but no I don't want to know how to use items I already know how so I don't really need to worry about buying items at the moment that little indicator above dart blue means you're not close to danger yellow means like you're kind of close red means you're you're going to get into a fight like it's it's imminent you're getting into a fight whether you want to or not unless you have a charm potion if you have one of those then you'll kind of push it off for a little bit but you'll still get into a fight eventually so we are going to guard right away because you don't need potions if you do that but you can see our hit points increased by about 30 just from leveling up so that's a pretty decent amount and you know what we're gonna get rid of the asshole on the right the assassin cock because they can actually do damage to us where this bozo if we keep guarding like we were they're not going to do anything so you don't have to waste potions that way. That guard feature can be a real lifesaver in some of the later boss battles. Like, I guess personally, I don't think this game is very difficult. Like I said, I've been playing it for the better part of two decades now. So I've got a pretty good handle on what to do, what not to do. Like there are certain fights that are still they're going to be a pain in the ass, no matter what, essentially. Especially if you've got 
like the wrong party members and like certain party members are slower than others like they do a lot of damage but they just don't move very fast so that kind of sucks or there are certain ones that they move really fast but their their hit points kind of suck ass so that's something you've always got to keep in mind like I said, I'm not really going to focus on level grinding right now. We're just going to make our way through this forest. Get to Helena. I'll save. Probably end things right before getting into Helena. And then... If I notice the triangle change, I'll hurry up and trigger the fight, though. I'll probably do some level grinding after I'm done with the stream tonight. Just because... Well, I don't really have a good justification for it, I guess. Because I want to. There we go. Alright, that asshole is going to be the first to go. Because it can land some more damage. The camera angles kind of suck in battle. You gotta get used to that. You can adjust it though, so that's nice. Heal ourselves a bit. Not that I'm really worried about getting my ass beat by any of these low level enemies, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And this one might use one of its special moves now. Yep. So as you get enemies' health lower and lower, they'll start to like bust out shit like this more often. Which, like, right now that was fine because that element isn't really strong against Dart, so that's fine. But if you've got a party member who has the opposing element and they get targeted, you can really fuck yourself over if you're not being careful. Okay, so we leveled up again. I guess that's reason enough to level grind after the stream right there. I want to try to get darts level up as much as I can before getting the other party members, because we'll get a couple of them in Helena. I'm not going to say which ones exactly, but we won't be alone after that. So, there's that. Nope, not that one. So, they got a little maze here. It's not really a challenge at all. You just keep going through different exits till you get to the area you want but I want all of the treasure so that's that sometimes you'll find money all right we've got that pesky red arrow again let's hurry up and trigger that there we are I think this is my third or fourth copy of this game because I had one when I was growing up and I wound up selling it when I was in high school I believe because I don't know why I was a dumbass kid like I I'd play games for a really long time that make eh I don't really play this anymore, I might as well sell it, which, like, yeah, if you don't play a game, you go ahead and sell it, but this is a game that I'd go back to from time to time. Um, I'd gotten a second copy of it for free when I was younger, so I more than likely sold that as soon as I got it, because why the hell would I need two copies, especially since both were greatest hits anyway. Which, fun fact, if you didn't know this, I know at least for the PlayStation 1, Black Label games will usually have their discs in color, and Greatest Hits will usually just be a black and white press. Which, I didn't realize that until I was in high school, because I just, I had never paid attention, but, like, looking back... 
I would borrow one of my cousin's copies of the original Crash Bandicoot throughout my childhood, and it was the greatest hits copy, and I remember the disc being in black and white, but I got my own copy, I want to say, like seven years ago now, and it was a black label copy, and the disc was orange and, well, is still, I guess, orange and blue, I think. So Dart's having a flashback here. Like, I know the color of the disc doesn't make much of a difference, but it's just a collector's thing, because I like collecting for the PlayStation 1. So we've got little Shauna leading little Dart somewhere or another, and she got attacked by that same thing that just attacked us a moment ago. Dart's being pr protective over her, so you can see he's been protective since they were children. How sweet. But, yes, I sold those two copies. I wound up finding another... Oh, that's a little fun fact. So, those green arrows at the top and the bottom of the screen, that shows you exits, but... I just tried to go to the left, and it... Dart just said, Helena is not that way, or something along that line. But there's no green arrow. That is because there will be an entrance there... A bit later on in the game. So that's some fun trivia for you. Not really fun, but I was just going to call it boring old trivia. Yeah, I think this is my third copy of the game. I haven't sold this copy since I got it, anyway, so... See, I just fucked up an addition there, so... That won't get us a point. Ah, well. Still get our experience, so that's nice. Let's take a look at our edition. Alright, so we're at 14 out of 16. Right off the bat, you can see Volcano has more button presses, wouldn't give us as much SP, but it would do more damage right away. And that's that's something you're going to have to choose for yourself later on. It all depends on your play style. Personally, I'll typically prefer damage versus SP. Like, I don't really utilize what SP is for a whole lot anyway. Like, I will if I'm bored, but that's about it. Alright, so back on the world map. You've got Helena right there, so that means I'm going to be wrapping things up in just a moment here. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Um, pretty good. I went back to work today. Actually, my... My uh, experience with COVID wasn't that bad at all. It was nothing more than a mild cold. I had a runny nose for a couple of days and then a cough for like maybe two days, but that went away pretty quickly. Like it wasn't nearly as bad as what everyone was making it out to be. Like, fuck, if anything, I was more energetic than ever during my bout with COVID. I got so much shit done around my apartment that I typically wouldn't have gotten done. But I know my, uh, Gracie, she got it around the same time that I did, and it whooped her ass. The first couple of days, anyway. I was not sober for, like, a good fourth of my quarantine at home, I'll tell you that. Like, that was the worst part, having to stay home. I hated not being able to go anywhere. That fucking sucked. I felt like I was a prisoner. Okay. So, we're at Helena. I'm gonna wrap things up for the evening because, like, it doesn't take a long time to get through Helena, but I like to do a lot of level grinding around there, so I wanna cut that shit out, get it all knocked out of the way before the next stream. That way you guys aren't bored. Um, 
closing statements. Thank you all for tuning in. I always appreciate it. I I plan on doing a full playthrough of this game. It might not all be like continuous because I don't really like doing a lot of continuous things, but maybe like once a week or once every other week. Hopefully next time I'll have those audio issues fixed. I'm going to look into that. Like, I know if I would be doing this off my PS3, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. But like I said, I don't have a stream deck at the moment, so I'm doing this a little differently. Um, no, I don't have... Well, technically you're going to test positive for a while after having COVID, but no, I'm not contagious anymore. It's been like 11 or 12 days since the onset of symptoms, so definitely not contagious anymore. Fuck, they had me back at work, so that's a good enough sign. Um, all the old videos that aren't on Twitch, because we have covered quite a few games, even like if they're just one-off streams, they are on our YouTube channel, which is same name as our Twitch channel, yet another dead clone. Um, oddly enough, I have found myself getting more copyright strikes from YouTube over video game music, and I haven't received a single fucking strike from Twitch at all, which, that's entertaining for me, whatever, they can put ads in my videos for all I care. Um, so, all of our old shit's on there, like... I know I've got a few Final Fantasy XIV streams. I think I put our Crash Team Racing one. Some old Pokemon ROM hacks that I had. But yeah, tons of good shit over there. Not safe for work. There is a lot of uh, colorful language. So I, I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to watch it at work or school or anything like that. You guys are your own people. Make your own decisions. I'd probably watch it at work, honestly. But I will probably stream again tomorrow night at some point. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I don't think it'll be Ark. I don't feel like streaming Ark at the moment. Might be Final Fantasy X, might be Resident Evil 2, might be something I haven't done on the channel before. Who really knows? I if I had to guess, I'd assume like sometime between like 7 and midnight is when the stream will be. So, I know that's a shitty time frame. Like, it, it's not like a cemented time or anything, but I am one forgetful son of a bitch, so that's that. Anyway, like I said, thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I will be back at some point tomorrow with something or another.